Hi, my name is Tiny, and as you can see, I'm pretty small, but I wasn't always like this. I'm pretty old, and I used, I used to be just huge. I was the queen of the coast. People could climb on me, and I was so tall that no one could even reach the top of me. <laughs> Those were the good days. Unfortunately, time has passed, and I discovered something called weathering. What's weathering? But you don't know what weathering is? Well, let me tell you that it is not fun when you are used to being the biggest thing around. Uh, well, the earth is made up of rock, and rocks are always changing. Weathering slowly takes the shape and size of rock and changes it. And they, it's changed uh, not through magic and not through um, any other types of things, but it's changed through water and air, like when it rains or when the, the waves crash against your side. Uh, these things break away and wear away at rocks until they're tiny, tiny. Yep, that's what happened to me. Especially since I lived on the coast, the wind and air and all that moisture just made me smaller and smaller until I was just falling apart. However, I wasn't the worst off. You should see my cousin Sandy. She weathered so much that no one ever notices her in a crowd anymore. Don't you see her? Well, neither do I anymore. Anyways, I can't complain. The weathering of rocks is very important because many living things, including people like you, depend on rocks of all sizes. Just think of it. Can you build a stone bridge or a brick wall with, the size, with rocks the size of an elephant? What about beaches? Would you like to sink your toes into a warm beach with rocks the size of ten tennis balls? I didn't think so. Rocks of all shapes and sizes can help plants and animals, too. My brother, Henry, he used to be the home of hundreds of little mussels and clams. All because of the weathering process made all those little holes and indents in him. Also, my Aunt Holly, she let yards of moss grow on her, and even let little animals burrow underneath her to stay safe and sound. As you can see, my former glory is past, but that doesn't mean I'm not important anymore. People, and plants, and animals still need rocks of all shapes and sizes for a multitude of things.